Hi, good morning. Hello. <laughs> as a non native parent, as in for your children's language to be balanced, you need to proactive it by as in putting more effort. Yeah. You need to as in prioritize it. What did I mean? Let it be your priority each day. At least each day, create like 30 or one hour to teach them the language you really want them to speak. It's not that easy, but with your effort, you can do it. Yeah, as in to set a goal or make a plan for it, for it I think you will get there. Another thing there is that, as in, for, if you want them to expose, if you really want them to be exposed to their extended family members, you need to allow them to mingle with other bilonging or trilonging children out there. It will help them to cope and also help them to be more exposed. In my own case, in my own case, don't just um, underestimate it by saying how far it will last. Just keep on trying, just keep on doing it. In future, they will do great. And start now. Start now, earlier the better. If they reach some certain stage, you can they can't cope any longer. So earlier the better. Now that they are still tender, you know, you know, children with tendency, they understand easily, they understand any language they want. But if they pass that stage, it will be very, very hard for them. Why? Because now they are still their brain is still active. They are still flexible. Yep. What am I trying to say? I'm just talking about how to lay as in how to raise kids by longing, trailonging, and more longing. But for me, more longing is exceptional. Why? Because as in I'm from Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian, I speak English, my dialect, and also I live in France with my kids. Yes. So, um, here I speak French, but I don't speak friendly. I'm still learning. But I'm not scared, I'm not afraid of my kids in terms of learning French. I know in future they must definitely learn French while as they are schooling here once they are schooling here i'm not afraid of them I'm afraid of french so what i focused on now is to teach them english and my dialect so that's what i focus on now yeah yeah so why i brought up this new intro is because i had a conversation saying that as in, by longing or trailonging kids can't cope in abroad or in a foreign land that is not an English speaking country. So I strongly believe there are kids that, that are not in English speaking country can as well speak, write English and also read. That is 100% possible. Yep. Yeah, I just did this video to clear the air because of what I heard. People as in having conversation that is not that possible for bilonging or trailonging kids to speak English or to cope with other language. That's what prompted me to make this video. 
so to clear the air for them that is 100% possible. So for my own kids, I will give you guys some tips and it's very, very important because if they go, let me say, to meet their extended family in future, as in they, they can cope, they'll be more exposed. Or if they go to English speaking country, they can still mingle with others in terms of speaking English or coping there if they really want to reside in that place. That's why it's very, very important. You being a mother, you don't have any excuse, especially those that speak English. You don't have any excuse now by saying you don't have time to teach your kids how to speak English or your dialect. It's very, very important. So start now that it's still early. Because we be the one to blame in future, they will be the one to blame you that hey, I'm, you're from English speaking country. Still, it didn't teach them how to speak or read or write English. So it's very, very, very important. Yep. So now I have a tips how, how I raise my bilonging or trilonging kids. Some more trilonging. It depends. That one is their choice. If you really want your kids, your children to learn many languages, that less for you. It less for you. But for me, I go for these three. Yeah. So how I come about my own is as in I make it in a fun way. As in, you know, kids, they like as in jokely things or funny things so i start with i start it in a fun way or sometimes i put it in a song way i sing it like a song for them yeah that is the tip i use for my kids almost every day so and i notice that is working for them because kids if you try to make it in the right top way or for them to be reading it, they will get bored. They'll be tired. They get tired easily. But if you are playing with them or making it in a fun way or singing it like a song, that's when you will get them. So that's what I just noticed. I just want to clear the air for those that are saying that those living in Europe, like France, Germany, uh, Spain, Switzerland, that their kids can't cope, cope in terms of speaking English. I strongly believe that they can if you put more effort, if you plan yourself very well. They can learn any language of your choice, any language you want them, especially now that they are still tender. You know, tendency kids, they learn languages fast, not like adults. So adults is very, very hard for us to learn languages. Or kids, they are still um, flexible, as in, and don't worry about the spelling. Don't worry now about their assets, if they speak friendly or no. Don't just worry. In future, they will do more than you. They will do great more than you. So what we just focus on is for them to understand the language or to speak the language by maybe sending the message as in to get you one or two things. And for you to get what you achieve, what you want from your kids, as I mean, by longing or trilonging kids, you need to put more effort and make it consistent. Yeah. Keep on doing it every day. Whoever say it's hard, is 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 easy, is a liar. It's a little bit hard, but if you really put more effort on it, you notice that it's not that hard. So I strongly believe that kids that doesn't live an, in an English-speaking country can as well speak, read, and write English and other languages. 
is 100% possible. So you that live maybe in European country, is your children by longing or tree longing? As in, you can say your own opinion in the uh, subscription down below. Yeah. Um, experience, as in, share your own thoughts. How you raise your by longing or trade longing keys so now i gonna ask my kids few questions in english maybe some other time we can do in our um dialect so stay tuned to listen or to watch for us to make it a big dream now i gonna ask my kids some few questions in english Maybe some of that time we can do in my dialect. So now, Mario, can you tell us your name? What is your name? My name is Mario. How are you? How I'm, are you? I'm fine, thank you. How old are you? How old are you? I am, I am, I am six years old. Where are you from, Mario? I am from Nigeria. Where did you live? I live in France. Okay. So now, Mario, did you have a sister? Yes, I have a sister. Her name is Olivia. Okay. Do you have grandmama? Yes, I have grandmama. You have cousins? Yes, I have cousins. Okay. I think I start with my baby girl. You know, ladies first. Oh, yeah, what is your name? How are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Can you tell us days of the week, sir? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the days of the week. Good. Okay, over to you, Mario. Monday. Um, if you wake up in the morning, what will you greet your mother? Good morning. Okay, so um, if you wake up, how will you pray to your Jehovah? Thank you, Jehovah God, for making you to sleep and wake up in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, after saying good morning to your mother, what else can you do? Good morning. Mm -hmm. So after saying good morning, what will you do again? Go with me. No. What will you do after saying good morning? Okay, after saying good morning, what things will you do? Brush your teeth. Mm -hmm. After brushing your teeth, what things will you do? Breakfast. You eat your breakfast. So, in the afternoon, what will you eat? Lunch. In the evening, what will you eat? Dinner. So, if you, you greet good morning in the morning, in the afternoon, what will you greet? Good morning. In the afternoon, what will you greet? You love to me. In the evening, what will you greet? Good evening. Yes. Good afternoon. No, in the evening, what will you greet? In the evening. Good evening. Good. So, Mario, um, what class are you? Are you primary one? Good. Um. Um, today is Saturday. Where do you want to go? We go to the supermarket. Good. So now, um, so now, Mario, can you tell us days of the weeks? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, days a week. Good. Okay, now, Mario. Um, yep. Mario, if you want to you know, eat lunch, what will you which prayer will you pray? My God this food is Jesus' name. Amen. Good. Okay. Um okay. You did great. Guys, you can say um uh, subscribe. You can say subscribe to them. Subscribe to them. No, say subscribe to my. Let's go. Go subscribe to the video. Okay, guys. Please say subscribe to this video.
Subscribe your video. Good guys, you know. Um, Why? Yeah, you, you you can't expect them to speak very well. You know, they, they are still having slip of tongue and their spelling is still long. So you need that's why I say I said it determine is your you determine more effort as in for us to put more effort. I know that with time they will cope and with time they will speak friendly. Now um let us not just worry about their <clears throat> about their spellings or their assets. They are still tender with time. They will cope. They will speak very friendly. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching and subscribe, like, share, and as in say your own opinion, say your own experience for um, my fellow women that live. That raised for, for my fellow women that are raised by longing or trail longing children. You can share your own opinion in the subscription down below. Thank you.